Hey there everyone, it is Maria Young here and today we're going to be taking a close look at a Phalaenopsis propagation experiment that consisted of a big mama that was stunted and also an adult sized keiki that indeed was in bud and also in bloom. And then we elected to mount them within my orchid tree. What we also did in this experiment is we used aloe vera gel and also aloe vera water as its water source. So we are going to be taking a close look at them today and find out the results. Dun, 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 dun. I know guys, it's been quite a while since I gave you guys an update on a lot of my orchids that I've done experiments and also propagations on. And I do got to tell you guys, there's just been a whole lot of things that have been going on. Especially since I started on a new natural homemade organic fertilizing regimen on my orchids and also my plants. I definitely wanted to give it some time to see how they would do and how they would react. And now that I do notice a considerable amount of results, I'm going to be doing a lot of updates for you. So definitely stay tuned for more. And if you guys are interested in learning more about my new fertilizing regimen, you can go ahead and click right there on that link and it'll take you to the video where I show you how I specifically do it. Also, at the end of this video, I'll give you some more links to some of my videos where I talk to you about different types of organic fertilizers. Okay, and now back to our regular programming. Okay, folks, and here we are one month later. Now, if you guys did not see that video and want to see the backdrop and also the history and also the step-by-step -step process in which we actually did this separation propagation experiment, go ahead and click on the link right here and it'll take you right to that video. So this right here, guys, is Big Mama. And I did tell you that she was stunted and we knew that she would no longer grow. Now this right here is adult size Keiki, which we booted and kicked out of the nest and completely separated her, even though she was in spike at the time and also in bloom. And as you can see right now, she is still sweetly in bloom as well. We went ahead and did it even though she was in that spike and guess what guys she held on to that spike and this was actually beautifully in full bloom again this is the last of the bloom right here and what we're actually going to be doing is we're gonna go ahead and cut this spike and then we're gonna use aloe vera gel to see if we can go ahead and promote another alternative spike to grow so we'll do that at the end of this video and let us go ahead and take a closer look at this big baby of a keiki right here which was once such a free loader of an orchid but as you can see right now she is fully independent and standing on her own and very lovely and healthy and growing very well and also as i stated we did mount her onto this tree right here using a little bit of sphagnum moss that is contained within this coconut husk of a container and also so we went ahead and wrapped this fishing line all around it, wrapping it up like a gift. And although we cannot see what is beneath the surface of the media, we can definitely see what is above the surface. And right here you are noticing new growth of some roots in there. So we are definitely noticing some new root growth, which is always a great sign and an indicator that everything is growing according to plan. Okay, so now let's take a look at Big Mama Deer right here. Now, as you can see, she looks as normal. Nothing really has changed, but let's take a closer look, guys. Because upon closer inspection, take a look at this, guys, right here. Right there, that is a baby keiki that is attached to Big Mama's stem. So yes, she indeed grew a new keiki and with the help and assistance of the aloe vera gel as well, 
this has grown lovely very healthy and also very very quickly in one month's time can you believe it so even though she is stunted and will no longer grow as you can see now she has the hope and also the faith that she indeed will continue to grow and live through her offspring so indeed guys this is quite a happy ending something so magical what we can also say a fairy tale ending for both of these lovely ladies right here and not to mention even the grand celebration and the birth of her new baby as well this is a very successful experiment and also propagation getting a green thumbs up from my orchid adventures and what better way to end this experiment with yet another experiment and what we are actually going to be doing is taking this flower spike cutting it back to a point where we're going to go ahead and promote a new growth of an alternative spike which will continue to produce buds and of course in turn produce some more beautiful blossoms and we're also going to be using this aloe vera leaf right here freshly picked from my garden which you guys know aloe vera is jam packed with all sorts of growth hormones so we're going to be using the gel from this aloe vera to promote induce and also help to produce a new flower spike and the way that we're going to know exactly where to cut the spike we're going to look for the actual location of where the last bloom was and in this case this is where the last bloom was so we're going to go down and find the next fresh node and this right here is where the next fresh node would be so we're going to cut above it somewhere right here and by making that cutting what's going to happen is it's actually going to invoke and provoke new growths to grow from these nodes and even possibly lower nodes as well that is always a possibility and a potential and here we are folks and it is quite a simple process here we have our sanitized scissor right here and we're going to go ahead and make that cut where we had talked about right here guys and right here we have the aloe vera leaf with the gel exposed and we're just going to go ahead and start gelling the nodes down just like this and i'm going to go ahead and go to the next node as well which is right here we're going to gel that down and let's see if there's any more nodes that we can see oh here's one we're going to get them all the more the merrier if we can get them all to butt up and spike out that'd be awesome right and there you have it folks wasn't it easy as pie i mean absolutely a cinch and i'll continue to monitor these two orchids and hopefully we'll find something growing about and i may even gel this down maybe once or twice more just to give it some added potency to try to promote those cakeys or even those alternative spikes who knows what it'll do. So be sure to stay tuned for more. And there you have it, folks. I sure do thank you guys for allowing me to share my love, my passion, my orchids, and my garden with you guys. I hope you guys did like this video. And if you did, please be sure to like, share, and also subscribe. And if you want to join me on my Instagram and also on my Facebook, you could do that at My Orchid Adventures. And as you guys already know, I truly do love and appreciate each and every one of you guys all. And I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.